guys what's up in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own custom flares which you can use on whatever you're working on projects images edits whatever so yeah the things that you'll need for this are After Effects and a third party plugin called optical flares by video copilot so yeah, let's get on with this go we'll first make a composition so in um, composition new composition whatever um, dimensions that you want and click OK go to layer new solid and just make comp size and color make sure it's black now select this go to effects video copilot optical flares now this is your default flare the way you want to move this around is using this crosshair that's kind of in the center of it so you clicking that click and hold that to like drag it to wherever you want so yeah now on this side you see all these different options for the flares that you can adjust the brightness and scale for example but to change the actual flare you need to click options and another window will pop up um, in this you can make your own flares um, let me just show you by clicking on this option here called lens objects so you can make your own flares with shimmers and etc and I'll just quickly show you what this this um, button over here global color you can like edit the color of what you want like so so yeah that's the global color or over here there's a, there's a nice feature called preset browser where they've already got like so loads of pre-made um, flares that you can use straight away and yeah after you've made your flare and you like how it looks click OK now you can do whatever editing else you want but after you've completely finished go and you want to like finally render it out go to composition um, save frame as file now down here it should be in the render queue render settings for current settings you can leave it like this or just to make sure make sure your quality is at best and your resolution is at full click OK now where it says output module where it says Photoshop click that and make it say um, JPEG sequence here and click OK now output to this is pretty much just how you want to save it so I'll just save it as bright flare on my desktop and just hit save now the way you want to render this out is just this button right at the edge here click it should make a noise after done um, rendering and now you just let's move on to your project so this is what I've made as a background and I want to add a few flares here and there so file open find your flare and the way you want to do this go to your move tool and just drag it on top but as you straight away notice it sort of covers your your ori original image so what you want to do now is go to this drop down menu go to either lighten screen or linear dodge so yeah use which any of those three whichever looks best it kinda looks kinda random in the center over here though so I'm gonna move it down like so but now as you notice it kind of has this cut which kind of looks really unprofessional so the way you want to edit this go to, select that layer go to your eraser tool select a suitable size and make sure the hardness is at zero go to the edge and just sort of like erase that edge so yeah now that's gone you can erase whatever else so yeah that's your like custom flair that you can add to whatever you're working on I hope you guys found this useful. Please comment on my video, like it, which helps a lot, and make sure, most of all, please subscribe. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.